go again. <laughs> it didn't record last time, so we're gonna go for the Battle of Sterling. Take us away, Wallace. The time for minor skirmishes is over. We now prepare for war. The villain Longshanks is poised across the river forth and threaten the town of Sterling with a force of men-at-arms, heavy cavalry, and a multitude of archers. Our newly formed army marches southward to establish our own base and attack the English before they can ready their troops. Alright, so we get to defeat the English army and destroy their tower. And this does play like a random map game. And keep exploring, yeah. The time has come to take the offensive. Rob the English have a fort near the town of Sterling. If we can defeat the English here, they may think twice about their invasion of Scotland. To win, destroy the English tower to the west. Before we attack the English to the west, we need to build up our forces. Have your villagers start gathering food and wood. Keep making villagers at your town center until you have ten. The more villagers you have, the faster your resources will come in. You can gain more food by building fishing ships. To create fishing ships, have your villagers build a dock in the water to the south. Scout cavalry are poor fighters, but they can see a great distance. You can use your scout cavalry to explore the rest of the map and find the English. You can specify a location for new units to gather by selecting a gather point. For villagers, click the town center and click the set gather point button. You found some sheep. Sheep are a good source of food, so send them back to your town center and assign a villager to gather food from them. Use your villagers to build a mill near your forage bushes. Fisher actually one of the fastest boys in the game to get food. The hill with the dead tree protects the only access to your town. It would be a good idea to build a watchtower on this hill once you advance to the feudal age. Now, click the dock and build a fishing ship. Doing it. As soon as I get enough wood, I'm gonna build a lumber camp along with this line of trees. Defeat 
fish. Click a fishing ship and right click on a leaping fish. The fishing ship will collect fish and automatically return them to the dock. Fishing ships are also useful for exploring. The English are coming to attack. To protect your villagers, you can use the town bell to garrison them in your town center. Click your town center, then click town bell. In the barracks, and five militia to defend your villagers and explore them. And as you can see, the town actually attacks. Good! You defeated the English assault. If you have villagers in your town center, ring the town bell again to send them back to work. Villagers can also build farms. Build four farms near your mill when your forage bushes are depleted. Each farm needs only one villager working on it. Air love. Boonage. Kid? Boonage. Bargara. Boonid. Arlov. Boonid. Should I have enough soon to build an actual lumber camp? Now that you've reached a feudal age, concentrate on making some soldiers to fight the enemy. You will need at least twelve. Remember! You can upgrade your militia to men-at-arms at the barracks. Forgera. You should always upgrade soldiers when you can afford it. Rob, would you? And upgrade your villagers, too. But I'm gonna need more food. Upgrade the villagers. So fun fact, you can turn statistics off and on, and depending what you have clicked down here, you can see your score, what you have for military, or what you have your villagers doing. It'll also show you trade cogs and carts later. Theodica Kid Cat Toe Rob Wigger Rob Wigger Air Love. Kia, Fiedica. I'm gonna build a blacksmith. So I can Rob get you. better upgrades. Rob Wigger. Rob Your watchtower will fire on enemy units and help protect your town. 
bit dear. I'm probably gonna need some. Rob Wigger! Man at arms. Take less damage and get back to exploring. If you're close to an English base, you better not knock down this wall until you've got an army of about twelve soldiers. Forget. Keep exploring the map. What do you think I'm doing, Wallace? fish gather faster than like shore fish which are these little shore. And since she's got berries Rob Wigan for farm Rob Remember to upgrade your weapons and arms at the blacksmith. You do have a blacksmith, don't you? Bonnet. Now you have a large enough force Bonnet. to attack the English base. Charge! Keep your villagers working just in case you suffer casualties and need to make more troops. Nianaga. Rob Wigger. Here. 
this is one of those things where sometimes they come out of the woodwork. The enemies do not. Gotta make sure I have plenty of backup. An advantage of having a watchtower on the hill is when there are units at a lower elevation, you get bonus damage against them. I think it's something like 20-25% more damage if you're to attack someone down here as compared to them being at the base of the tower. That's enough houses for now. Again. Back to my goal. A little upgrade. And make some more of them. And I think we to go for it. Done cut. We'll start by destroying their outposts. Fall paid. I mean, it lets them know we're coming. Of course, my guys don't follow the path. They never follow the path. So, fall paid. A bunch of soldiers with done cut. Set a wooden structure on fire. Fall paid. Kid, boonage. I can probably add another farm here. Rob Wigia. Valgara Tau. Rob Wigga. Arla. Oh. Nianaga. 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 Giant army to attack. Tall. Oh, I have 25 already? Wow. Fall paid. I don't need to destroy that, but it's kind of a Tall. Watching them set stuff on fire by hitting it with a sword. Bid fear. Bid fear to attack the English. Bid fear. Always attack units before you attack the buildings. This building's not going to run away. The unit might run away. I don't 
scared. Good job! You've eliminated the English soldiers. Now destroy that tower, and our victory will be complete. Great job! You've destroyed the English camp. A battle of Sterling is sure to end in victory for the Scots. Now that you know how to build up, advance through the ages, and find and fight your enemies, you have all the basic skills you need to play a random map game, the most common type of game in Age of Empires. So we completed the objective and I don't know what Bid fear, bid fear, to, to. Yep. So we probably destroyed everything. Eh, well, everything but the wall. What's that? Why is there a random archer out here? Why? Why is he in the woods next to the desert? Which makes no sense. Why is there a line of trees over here? Why don't you just make this whole desert area trees? It would make more sense. Also, there's a bird flying around. Probably a hawk. And another one. What kind of bird is that? Oh well. Not overly important. But still. What's with the desert? There's no desert in Scotland. You could have made it trees. Was someone lazy? They were probably lazy. But yeah, there was lots of fish. Hmm. Um, is this some sort of geographical feature that there is? Wait, he said something about a river. So is this the river? And it's pouring out into the ocean here. Could be. Yeah. But still, why with the desert? Why? Ugh. Closing remarks, Wallace. Sterling was our first great victory. Even as we held the coastline, word came in that the Sterling Bridge had been held by a force of Scots led by the mythical knight of whom so many have spoken. Now, we know his name. Sir William Wallace, the Hammer of the English. <laughs> Edward Longshank's name's Wallace a traitor and a criminal. But Sir William replies that he cannot be a traitor, since he never swore fealty to an English king. With Wallace leading our armies, the men fight with renewed vigor. Perhaps the tide of our misfortunes is about to turn. So it's not Wallace narrating. Interesting. But still, why the desert? Ugh. Oh well. Next time, we'll forge an alliance. See you next time.